Colorado Public Radio, welcome to Terra Firma. Hello, friends. I'm C. Marie Furman. Come with me on this journey as we listen for insights from the natural world. This time to northern Colorado, where we hear the sound of helicopters surveying a recent burn and working to help our forests recover. It looks horrible, my friend says, looking at the burned landscape of the canyon. My beautiful wilderness is ruined. My heart aches at the words, and I want to cover the ears of a land that has no say about fire, about regeneration, a land that I have loved since childhood. This landscape has traditionally welcomed fire. It offers seeds adapted to fire, attenuated through burning. From era to era, cycling through stages of life as we too cycle and reinvent, regenerate ourselves. Why do we allow ourselves to only see beauty in certain stages of life? Maybe fire has something to teach us about acceptance, about loving what is. Maybe beauty is the ability to witness without judgment. Maybe beauty is the appreciation of being alive to bear witness. I know this is not how I am expected to feel. Looking out across this landscape, the air thick with bitter smoke, where trees still smolder and roots burn quietly and soil scorched soft. But I feel a certain awe and delight and wonder, better known to me as beauty. Years ago, walking through a forest regenerating from an old burn, my partner commented that the spectacular view we were sharing with friends was possible only because of a decade ago fire. Where we stood would have been a holy wall of trees, the thick brown of lodgepole and ponderosa bark, not the lakes and meadows we were admiring, the fire opened a temporary portal that already the Aspen were reaching to fill. Can beauty hide beauty just as it holds it? I understand the work of fire. I understand, like we all do, the endings it brings. I understand, too, that our perception of beauty has been skewed by how we have come to define it. How seldom we offer that word to the old, the decrepit, to that which does not hold perfect form or vitality of youth, green and lushness. But I cannot help myself as I look out onto the hills and up to the ridge lines. I see beauty in this blackness, in the obsidian glint the husks of trees make, in the smoky, dreamlike forest I now wander. 
there is a beauty in the silence. The planes and helicopters have left. The wind of the fire is stilled. The work of rebirth and regeneration is quiet for now. Next year, when I return to this place, I know I will see yet another beauty. Maybe it will be the bright, wild strawberry that arises from the charred stump. Maybe it will be autumn, and the fireweed will rise like a refrain echoing purple blooms. Those blooms will turn, as they age, to white wisps, a smoke-like imitation of the very element that wrought them. And there will be acres and acres of bright, white, pearly everlasting. But for now, it is smoke that stings my eyes, and ash that covers my feet. Perhaps our greatest test is not going to be whether we can learn to live with fire, but whether we can learn to withhold our judgment of it, to accept life in all its myriad forms and presentations, and, in this acceptance, begin to understand our place in the landscape not as small gods with shaking fingers, but as mortal beings who not only witness beauty in its myriad forms, but add to that beauty with our words and with our actions. Isn't this what it means to love? I'm C. Murray Furman. This field recording was gathered by Jacob Job after the East Troublesome Fire in Rocky Mountain National Park. The recording received the 2021 Sound of the Year Award. Terra Firma is a production of Colorado Public Radio.